Somewhere in the city, a killer is on the loose. Joseph wants me to hunt him to keep our secrets safe. I just want to make sure he doesn't do it again. You don't have to be a vampire to get a taste for blood. Uh, the show is about a vampire, Private Eye, who um, was made a vampire against his will in the early 50s by the woman who he fell in love with and married on their wedding night. And he has since fallen in love with a mortal girl who he is sort of destined not to be with. My character, Mick St. John, is um, he's a reluctant vampire and he's essentially a humanist trapped in this immortal body that needs human blood to survive every day and so he, um, he's put a few things in place that fit with his moral code like he doesn't feed from humans, he goes to the blood bank and he gets blood from like a dealer at the blood bank and he takes it home and keeps it in the fridge. Uh, he sleeps in a freezer, he doesn't sleep in a coffin. He fought the instinct in the very beginning as well and his wife had to go and find him because she was his sire. And so um, as his sire and as a woman who was deeply in love with him, you know, which is why she, she turned him, because she wanted him forever. And she has to bring him food, she has to capture humans and take them to him because he won't eat. He lives a life of control-based denial about the situation that he's in. Mick is not an ordinary person, but he thinks of himself as an ordinary person. He doesn't think of himself as a superhuman. Mm -hmm. but he knows he's a vampire, obviously, but he regards himself more human than monster. And so, but he does have special powers. I mean, he's, his, uh, all of his senses are uh, much more heightened than, than they were, than ours are. Mm -hmm. um, he's much stronger than he used to be. He can leap like, up onto buildings, he can like scale walls. He's got some pretty cool superpowers. And he um, and he uses them for good, you know I mean? Becoming a private investigator is something that has helped him deal with what he is because he's, he's, you know, he's helping other people. And the other thing is when he eradicates sort of predators and these bad people from the earth, in his mind he's getting further away from the predator that he, he actually mm -hmm. is. There's a lot of different reasons why people watch supernatural stuff. Because they, they evoke the imagination, you know, because they stimulate parts of the mind and the imagination that are not necessarily stimulated on a daily basis. You know, in our nine to five grind, in our daily grind, in our lives, we sort of plunk along and do what we do. And I mean, we turn on the TV and see these mythical monsters and you know, all these, you know, figments of other people's imagination and also figments of age-old mythologies from many, many different cultures, which mm. is what vampires, and, I mean, vampires go back thousands of years in so, in so many different cultures, and so, I mean, it just poses questions constantly. Stay out of my way. As an actor, you know, who, you know, I mean, you work so, um, even, even when you work regularly as an actor, unless you're an A-list actor, you still like, you know, yeah. you still got to kick and scream to get a job and you've still got to, you know, and, and you, uh, you know, it's hard work. And so, of course, I, I wish for work to come my way for a long time. I don't know if I wish for the show to go on forever and ever. I think. I don't know if it's three or four years feels like about right for this show. Yeah. The other thing is I'm going to get older, so unless yes. unless Joel Silver's going to pay for my surgery, <laughs> <laughs> my hair implants, and you know my boob job and all that stuff that yeah. I'm going to need, then. I'm really glad the twenties are over, but I don't, you know. <laughs> I don't want to get to the 40s too soon. I just want to enjoy the 30s. So I think they're probably about right. Yeah. I think sort of 30, 30, 31, 32 would be about right. It was a great honour to be considered, really. I thought they were, I thought they were pulling the chain mm -hmm. when, they, when they asked me to go to London and, and screen test them. Um, I think I did a good job. Look. I knew I wouldn't get the role. I'm too young. That was a couple of years ago still mm -hmm. from now, you know, and so it was like, yeah, I was too young and I don't know if I was right for the role. I presume 
something about me was right for the role, otherwise they wouldn't have brought me to London. But um, and and I think Daniel did a terrific job. Mm. I think he's a great Bond. 